there welcome to my channel in this video i'd like to speak a little bit about saturn in capricorn and uh, the impact it will have on leo sun sign leo rising because saturn enters capricorn december 2017 where it stays until march 2020 and it will affect the area of your life that is about work and also health and um Saturn is about uh, lessons and discipline and responsibility and it also creates um, all kinds of problems in our lives and challenges and the reason we have such a hard time uh, dealing with Saturn is because uh, this planet only affects one area of our lives every 30 years so last time Saturn was in Capricorn was 30 years ago and it won't uh, show up in Capricorn again until 30 years from now again so um, therefore it's not like Mars, Mercury, the Moon and so on it's um, a different type of energy. We are not really used to it, at least uh, not in um, in um, Capricorn, because we had this transit 30 years ago. So I I was um, pretty young then, and um, um, most many some of you weren't even born, you know. So um, definitely, uh, each Saturn transit is something new and something that uh, we really. Um, have to handle to learn to handle and in the sixth house the good stuff about this about saturn in the sixth house is that you could actually lose weight you could eat smaller portion you might find your perfect health routine because you are motivated to be disciplined and to show restraint when it comes to how much you exercise or how much lazy time you you spend and so on so um you could indeed um, lose weight because saturn is also about restricting about making things smaller on the other hand um some of you might do your teeth i think that saturn rules teeth and bones um, when it comes to health in general you become more conscious and more disciplined when it comes to what to eat what not to eat when to exercise and so on so you could very well start a new form of exercise which will stick actually for a very long time to come when it comes to work there could be increased responsibility at work maybe longer work hours and um maybe a more difficult work environment for some of you indeed some of you might get a better job or a better position but this will bring separation because maybe you move to another division or to a new office you have your secretary but you are separated from other co-workers and you might feel lonely you might feel like you you know you you have to to be on your own there some of you might have a business of your own some of you might have had a partner previously but this partner experiences problems or health issues or what it might be or leaves and um, you have to do more work yourself you might work more longer hours um, co-workers might not be very helpful you might feel scrutinized criticized as well uh, and um, you might feel marginalized in the worst case scenario but as I said you could um, be separated because of other reasons it depends now a little bit on planets in your own chart as well and um, so um, when it comes to pets pets can become also a little bit difficult because um, the six house is ruled by Virgo and Virgo rules pets. Some of you might lose a pet. And um, it's also good to take care of your pets during this transit. Uh, take them to the vet if necessary. Don't le let them run in the, so that cars can hit them or anything like that. If you don't, if you can't take care of a pet, don't um, take it. You know, because if you form an attachment and uh, something happens uh, because your inability to have time to look after the pet or to notice what's going on, it, it might create loss 
and suffering and so on. Uh, so um, in general, be responsible about work and expect uh, more work, but uh, also be responsible of your health. Nobody can take care of your health but you. You, and but it will also be easier for you to take um, care of these problems. Don't expect too much of others, too much praise, even if you are great at something. You know, you could also kind of learn some some new job, you know, like a new skill that can almost put you on a new path in life if you want to or if you have to at some point. It's also important to know that Saturn can bring us down and therefore it's not good to make mistakes or to accept, let's say, a position. Uh, that you had previously a lower position because this might repeat itself as a pattern if you are younger over your lifetime so um, stick to the same job position even if you have to wait a bit um, longer be serious about it unless of course it's um, it's vital that you can pay your bills and so on so um, there will be a sextile to Jupiter and uh, until November 8th, 2018. And during this time, you could have a lot of luck when it comes to home improvements and renovations and any activity done from home, maybe work from home. And um, this could also be a time when you could grow a garden <laughs> or plants in your home even. And uh, you could um, exercise maybe from home and any kind of um, new health routine um, if started with Saturn and Capricorn might stick a little bit better so um, even if it's hard in the beginning you'll know that um, this um, new routine um, that you could be developed to be quite disciplined about will stick f with you for quite some time um, there will be also a trying to Uranus in your 10th house of career in Taurus eventually and uh, I think that this is also good because trines cannot be bad so Uranus is about uh, sudden unexpected things new things technology astrology and so on so maybe some of you get into astrology and learn more about it some of you might make quick progress when it comes to career unexpected changes new skills suddenly learned and um, the opportunity showing up so I think that some sudden exciting uh, progress can be made in career but the important thing is not to skip if you are in school don't skip school uh, work hard be disciplined uh, and if you are uh, working a lot don't skip work don't call in sick go there as much as you can and know why you you are there you know and so on and um, handle more work, discipline, a longer work hours, maybe you have more deadlines than you used to, and so on. And also look forward to improvements when it comes to health. It um, won't be a um, very bad transit, this one. It can be quite good. So... Um, this is all I have to say about Saturn in Capricorn for Leo Sun sign, Leo rising. I wish you a great Saturn transit through Capricorn. Thank you for watching.